So I'm house sitting right now and I'm trying to make a sandwich. And this cat. No. You can't eat my chicken. No, baby. No. So with house sitting, I've been working in the garden a lot. And I'm having this cucumber for lunch. Don't worry, it's not my whole lunch. Like, I have a sandwich I'm eating. And I know that looked small, but that's because I've been eating it. Um, but, yeah, this is, like, so... <laughs> just eating this straight is just so nice. I had to stop at my parents' house to get a few more things. And um, it's really close to one of my jobs where I have to deliver paperwork to them anyway. So I thought I'd do the paperwork here, print it out go drop it off. So while I'm here, I wanted to use their air fryer because I've had the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi before. And lately on TikTok, I've seen a lot of people making it in the air fryer. So we have it going. I'll let you know if it's better or worse, what I think. So here is the finished product. Um, I did them at 400 for about 12 minutes. I could have gone a little longer if I wanted them really crispy on the outside, but I still wanted them to be pretty soft. Um, so I think they turned out really, really good. It's settled. I'm adopting this cat. <laughs> Not really though, but we have been inseparable. She just so snuggles. She loves the snuggles and biting me, but you know, she's cute. So she gets away with it. So today is my third day of house sitting at camp and I've been taking care of the chickens and one of the hens has been nesting and I have not been able to get her to move. She's been very aggressive and I was starting to get worried that she wouldn't move and I wouldn't be able to get the eggs from her and that we'd have chicks which we don't need right now. Um, and so I finally got the eggs and there was a ton of them. Let's see, there has to be like a dozen eggs here. Um, but I walked by the coop because I was watering and she had moved. So I was like, ooh, <laughs> now's my shot. I have to go get the eggs. So I got my little basket of eggs. My work schedule is just ridiculous. Um, so it is kind of nice to be living alone so I can just focus and get stuff done. But these are so good. I can't stop snacking. I've been snacking on a lot of different things, but these are addicting. So we are going to be going to the zoo. I just finished my makeup. I got to do some dishes and then I'm going to head out and meet my family at my parents' house. And we're going to do like a little family outing, which I'm really excited about. I've always loved the zoo. Being homeschooled growing up, we always had a zoo pass and we would go all the time. And my mom thought, since there's not a lot of things for us to do this year, even though things are opening up from COVID, um, it's still very minimal. One of the things we can do is have a zoo pass. And you do have to like pick a time slot when you're going to be there and we're going to wear masks and everything. Um, but I'm just so excited to go to the zoo. It'll be very nostalgic. These are super cool. Freeze dried ice cream. These birds basically sum up my aesthetic. Like, look at those tails. Gazelles. He's rubbing his head. <laughs> this one's a baby. This one's a little bit shorter. Has a smaller face. Monkey. Yes. Cool. He's cute. It's a baby warthog. Cutie. Cool. I know. Their skin is so interesting. Yeah, like the it's, folds. It's like tough. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like scales off a fish almost, but doesn't it? There's a salt there. There's a baby. And then there's Can some over here too. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Good job, man. That's a big. Who's it? Hi, buddy. Hi, 
ready? Or anything? Hello. I love watching I turn his how he navigates. It's cool. It's like, I'm not gonna face you. I don't wanna put you. Not neat. I love meerkats. They're so cute. Look at him. Hey, buddy. Hello. How's it going? Look, look at it. Yeah. Smoking garlic cricket. Bats. Dad, there's bats over here. Bats. I know you like bats. Bats. Oh, I love bats. Look at cool. They're cool. I like bats a lot. Yeah. Look at, look at. Hey, buddy. He's having a snack. That's awesome. What's that? He's eating green bean right now. And lettuce and zucchini and carrots. Yeah, no one. That's a zucchini. Zucchini? Yeah. Hey, bro. Look at the size of his. I don't want to. Yeah, look at his giant look, paws. Look at his front paws. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Hi, buddy. You got the goods, got some fries, got burgers. The best burger and fries you can get in Seattle. I am about to go get my eyelashes filled. So here's my before and then um, I'll show you my after. All right, just got my eyelashes done. So there's my little after. Um, if my eyes look like puffy and swollen and just irritated, it's not because of the lashes. It's because of allergies. I had the worst allergy attack last night and they're still a little puffy. Um, but yeah, I love getting my eyelashes done. I love talking with my lash lady. For those of you in Washington, I go to Lash Alert in Issaquah and I 100% recommend them. The girls who work there are just so sweet and I go when I go, I see pretty much anyone, but the girl I go to the most is Elena, and she's just really nice, and I don't know if, like, I just feel like COVID has changed the way we see connection with people, and so we always talk, like, the whole time she's doing my eyelashes, and it's just awesome. Like, she has two kids, so I always ask her about her kids, and she's having to homeschool her daughter this fall, and I grew up homeschooled, so she asks me a lot about that, and I just know, I don't know. I love, I love going in there, uh, but now, I'm at Target um, because there's a couple little things I was gonna order off Amazon and then I was like wait I'm right by Target because the eyelash place is like down the street I was like I'm right by Target I should just go get those things from Target so I can have them now so I'm gonna go do a little tiny Target shop I'm gonna try and not go crazy I could spend so much money. I always end up looking at baby clothes, but look at how cute this little onesie is. Oh my goodness. Got the goods. I'll do a haul when I get home. Time for a little Target haul. So, first we'll start over here and just go around. I'm sitting on the bed with all the things. First, I got this little lunch box which is just so cute i'm gonna need this for the fall for work with working at the preschool i'm gonna be having lunches there and then i got this i saw this and was like it's perfect i needed more i need more just in general like water bottles and to-go cups and this is cute little to-go cup but it has a handle like i just love that i think it's so cute and then let's do decor so i saw these adorable felt pumpkins and figured I could put them in my room somewhere. And then I saw these and thought they were perfect because I have this wall in my room that's just blank and I want to do some stuff to it, but I don't know yet. So these are just like gold rings and they're supposed to be like a wreath so you can put like fake flowers on them. So I thought they'd be cute. Like, I don't know, hanging like that, put some fake flowers or some vines or something on them and then this one has like a honeycomb 
if you can see that pattern to it, which I thought I could hang like keys or like hooks for things on here. And then I got um, some string lights because I already have some in my room, but I thought it would be cool to have some around this area. So we'll see. I'm probably going to do a vlog where I decorate my room. And then I got, I'll show you the food things I got. I got some Oatly. That was one of the items I intended on getting. I needed some milk. I've actually never tried Oatly in my entire life, which I know is like wild. And I got some strawberries because I have chocolate hummus right now from Trader Joe's. And these dipped in that are just the best combo. Um, I wanna show you what I got at the zoo yesterday. I don't think I showed you guys these. I got crickets, which I know sounds absolutely disgusting, but my dad and I are very adventurous eaters. So if we see something out of the norm, we get it and we eat it. And I've had crickets before at Mariners games, but these are a salt and vinegar flavor. And then I got this super cute little baggie that has metal straws in it. So there is a blue one a gold one which I have a lot of gold but this is the main reason I love it it like changes color it's like rainbow so cool and then this is another item that I intended on getting I love these I needed to get some mighty patches these are awesome for just like they extract acne and then I saw these and they didn't have the full size of these so I had to get the travel size which is fine but these I have seen on TikTok. They're for dark spots, so like after you have acne, if it leaves a dark spot, I don't know. They're supposed to be like micro needle. I don't know, we'll see, we'll try those out. And then I needed some saline spray. My allergies have been so bad, and I think it's because I ran out of saline spray. So I just picked up one of those. I picked up a Vital Proteins little collagen packet. I just like having random water add-on packets like this because I don't drink enough water and this will help me to drink more water. And then um, some school items that I got. I just got four folders for my four classes this fall. I got a gray one, a black one, a blue one, and a white one. And then I got another notebook. So I have like the five star notebooks that are this pattern, but they're like the thicker, they're more like a journal um, binding, I think is what you call this. And those are for my three more major classes, but then I have a fourth class that's just one credit and it's a really like, it's gonna be a really easy class. And so I got this more like classic school notebook style because they didn't have any different colors. And so I just didn't wanna mess with those. So I figured if I got a different kind and I have a black one of the other kind, I just thought it would match really cute. And yeah, those are the things I got. It is raining today and it's just overcast, cloudy, and that's nice because I don't have to water the garden, but it just feels like fall is coming in, which I have mixed feelings about. Like, I'm super excited, but I'm also like, oh, summer is almost over. So, we were going to go to a drive-in worship night at church, but someone didn't check their Facebook to see that it was canceled. <laughs> You can check yourself well. well I checked when we got there because well, I have social anxiety and I wanted job. to make sure. Good job, Bronwyn. <laughs> so, I checked. It just happened to be the one from two, two days ago. But so we went to the store <laughs> and I made mom spend too much money on yeah. vegan food. 60 bucks. That wasn't all for me though. Well, yeah, okay. That was, I just made you spend yes. like 20 bucks. You're trying. About 20, yes. The rest was other things yeah it's actually 10 30 at night and i'm still at my parents house after we got home i had some laundry to fold and just some tidying up to do because tomorrow we're gonna have company come over some family long time family friends are gonna come visit who they live in another state now so it'll be really cool to visit with them but they're gonna get here before i am because i have something else to do in the morning and so i just wanted to tidy up my space because this is an add-on to our house my dad built it so he'll want to show it off and they will come look at it and i don't know do you ever just start cleaning and then you get in like super clean mode i went through all of my clothes i like changed up my closet. I'll show you what I did, but 
I just like went through all of my drawers and I super organized everything. I went through all of my files and papers and like I cleaned my fridge, like I did everything. I have a really tiny space. So one of the things that I did was take my external closet and switch it to all of my fall clothes. So I have like jackets and jumpsuits and I packed up my summer dresses and I stored them under the bed. I have under the bed clothing and shoe storage. And then I put my scarves and my sweaters and my long sleeve tops and then some of my pants. I organized my underwear drawers and the side pockets that have accessories. I hung up some belts. I cleaned out my fridge. There's not much in here right now because I'm house sitting, so all of my food is at the other place. I put my mugs, I have like a little coffee station here. I put my mugs in this cute little crate, which I thought would be cool for fall decoration. And then I wanna show you, these are what I did with the rings that I got at Target. And I haven't gotten into my fall stuff yet. I'll probably do that sometime next week, but I'm gonna like add leaves around them and it's gonna be really pretty. And I need to put batteries in this, but I put the little fairy lights around my mirror, which I've done before, and it'll look really, really cute. And I put the pumpkins up there. I have been obsessed with this breakfast and just had to show you. So it's the Trader Joe's frozen gluten-free waffles with the chocolate hummus from Trader Joe's, and then some almond butter with pumpkin spice and cinnamon. And then today I added a banana because I had banana that needed to be eaten, but I've just been having it plain without any toppings and it's been my obsession. Down, twist, inhale, peel back, open up. So hard for me, but if I was there with you, I would grab that wrist and just lift a half inch more. Huge breath, plank pose, step back. Shifting forward, inhale to your belly or chaturanga, exhale, back bend, deep breath, lift your hips back and let your head fall. Let's lift your left leg up, deep breath in. Now can you feel resistance of your left heel, the sole of your left foot pushing into space? Beautiful ladies, one breath in. Knee to nose, curl it. Pull your hips back to your heels. Connect your hands overhead, dropped prayer. Slip your thumbs to the nape of your neck, right down your spine. And settle, breathe, ujjayi. Ujjayi. Ujjayi breath in. Breath out. So, I just left the like most wonderful experience. So one of my dear friends, she was actually my first yoga instructor ever way back when I was a competitive dancer. Uh, they had the dancers do yoga because it really just supported our bodies and everything. And I have her to a credit for my like love of yoga. And she invited me to this vineyard in Fall City and we did yoga in the vineyard and she always leads the best classes and because we have this like friendship she can kind of correct me a little bit more i like give her full permission i'm like you yell at me as much as you want and she's really helped me like i'm starting to do handstands now which i never thought i'd be able to do and i just i love her and i'm so thankful for her as a person so shout out to you krista but we did yoga in the vineyard and then we got to select a wine so i picked this beautiful red, which I am going to try probably tonight. But it just, mm, what a wonderful like little thing. You're in a vineyard, doesn't get better than that. Come on, Rowan, come on. You're just gonna pull it up, right? And then all I have to do is just, oh my God. Ah, it's move, it's moving. Oh my god, it's moving. Oh, 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 I did it! Hey 
guys, I am just editing this video now. Today, after the vineyard, I went to my parents' house and we had some family friends come over who are out of state and just long time friends. So it was really nice to catch up with them. Uh, but I didn't vlog any of that because I just wanted to focus on quality time. But me, my mom, and her friend went to the Dahlia farm and they had self-serve Dahlias. So we got some Dahlias. And now I am editing this video and I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I really liked putting together a week of just memories and moments in one video. It's kind of fun to see it all at once. Um, but I'm still playing around with vlogs and what I like. So definitely leave your suggestions in the comment box below.